interesting today. He doesn't put his schedule up there until he shows up. And I just listened before on MSNBC before I came, the morning Saturday morning show. And first of all, they don't think he has the charisma or the macho to be the next president. I think he's a, not the most enlightened speaker, but uh, they're, they're, it's 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 a tough tough situation. We, we do have to get the media involved to find out where this money is coming from, where it's being spent. I think they did a pretty good job finally with some of the emails that were released, where they tied that million and a half from the Menards and the million and eight, one point eight million he got back in subsidies from Weedick and all the environmental crap that he's pulled. So I think there's something out there, but we, we, we have a right to know. There's, we have a right to have transparency in our government. The problem is when you own it all, the judicial, the executive, and legislative branch, how do you get anybody to stand up against them? Right. You know, we do it all the time. And my, I have to give my colleague in crime, one of my former employees, Eric Gunrick, is doing it all the time. He had a great editorial in the paper this week, and I had a great editorial in the paper a couple weeks ago. Well, they are doing that. And surprisingly, there were two weeks back to back we were on the front page. Democrats blast Governor Walker's budget. So that was good. I have more confidence in the Appleton Post Press than the Press Gazette. Though. They've done a better job. Not always, but some of the issues. So, uh, we have a right to know how do we get there. We have to look at that and try to find a way. Other questions?